Hey everybody, this is Melvin with Tech Running 24 7 and in today's video we want to show you an easier way to air drive with iOS 11. Now we did a video about three months ago on how to air drive with iOS 11 and the new control center. But in today's video we want to tweak what was said before just a little to make it easier. So in today's video we're doing our demonstration with our iPhone 7 Plus and uh, the first thing we need to do is locate our settings button. So go ahead and open up your settings. And once you open up settings, go ahead and scroll down to where you will see general. Open general. Once you have general open, scroll down to where you see accessibility. Open accessibility and then scroll down to where you will see 3D touch. Now go ahead and open up the 3D touch menu. Now from some of the responses we got from some of you all from our last video, you're still having problems trying to airdrop. So to make airdrop easier, what we're gonna do is turn off the 3D touch. So go ahead and toggle that off. And now that you toggle that off, um, make a quick note that with 3D touch off, you will lose some, lose some 3D touch features and live wallpaper. But this will make airdropping easier for you. So with that done, go ahead and hit your home button now we're back at our home screen. Now that you're at your home screen, go to the bottom of your device and swipe up so we can get back into Control Center. Now that we're in Control Center to AirDrop, we just need to make sure a couple of things are on. And that is our Wi-Fi and our Bluetooth. And as you can see, the, the uh, two blue buttons there are on the Wi-Fi and the Bluetooth. Now with um, 3D Touch Off, now it makes it easier to get to the next menu, which is where a lot of you were having problems. So with the 3D touch off, you don't have to try to gauge how much pressure it is to get to the next menu. Just go right here and, and mash or press to get to the next menu. And so after you get to the next menu here, you need to go down to where it says airdrop and touch there. And that will kick you to the next menu and what you would need to do to send or receive airdrop is either choose airdrop to contacts only or to everyone. I suggest go ahead and put down tap everyone. And then at a, as you can see there, it says everyone and just hit anywhere on the screen. And now that you've done that, you're ready to send or receive an airdrop. So that's about it for our video for today. Hopefully we shared something that has been beneficial and something that you can use. If we did, go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe to our channel by clicking on the green Tech Runner 24 seven icon that you see on your screen. Also click on that bell icon so you can be notified of our next video. And again, this has been Melvin with Tech Runner 24 seven, bringing you technology that's on the move. Thanks.